So Stefano thinks of you as his queen. Still, could he be so delusional that he thinks he can actually make you his, his partner, for want of a better word? I think now perhaps he just wants to destroy me. And Paul, it's not just about Marlena. She's just another one of many pieces on the board. Stefano has spent the last 30 years manipulating and using the people of Salem and then tossing them away like garbage. Like he did with my dad. That's right. At one time, your dad was his pawn. And at least John was able to get out from under Stefano's influence. Stefano never regained power over him after that. And we're going to do the same thing for Hope. But how, now that Anna has spooked him into seclusion? Well, however we do it, we're going to do it in a controlled environment. We're going to stick together. We're going to be on point. And we're going to be on guard every step of the way. All right. Thank you for your concern. And I know that you will do your damnedest to make sure that you apprehend Stefano before he can hurt me at all. Now, if it's any, any comfort to you, I have experience in dealing with Stefano. I think I can take care of myself. And if you can't, what then? Look, I know that you all think that this is risky, but am I the only one who's totally against this? Who thinks that this is a catastrophe waiting to happen? I understand that Hope's life is dependent on this plan but I can't in good faith let you go through with this without my father knowing about it first. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to call dad. <laughs>